Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Magic Mermaid here, and I am here to give you your Scorpio November 2021 monthly tarot scope reading. This is gonna be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and or rising signs. Okay. Before I get started, let me remind you guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. The likes really help the channel. So if you guys could just give it a like, we love it there. Okay, thank you so much. Um, also, follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid and follow me on Twitter at Dumb Magic Mermaid. Also, if you want a personal reading with me, you can just click the link in the description box below to do that. And we can go ahead and get started. Okay. What does Scorpio have going on in the month of November? Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay. Scorpio, why you be doing this to yourself? Okay. This month, Scorpio, some of you may be dealing with, um, you could be dealing with depression. That's not everyone. Some of you could be dealing with depression. You could be dealing with anxiety. You could really just be, um, let me, I'm sorry guys, let me just, um, some of you could just be really like overthinking, okay, you could be having a lot of mental baggage, okay, there's something that you're overthinking or you're having an, an obs obsession about it, like thinking about it, like you can't stop thinking about it, you won't let it go. There's something that is really taking up your mental space and you know, you just can't get over it, okay? So let's keep going, Scorpio. Okay, so then you got the strength card. So I do feel like if you're if you are coming into the month and you're having like mental anxiety, you're having depression or you're obsessing over some aspect of your life, I feel like you will be breaking out of that mode with the strength card coming in cuz it represents being strong, okay? Being confident. So whatever this is, um I feel like you're quickly going to move out of that energy. You're going to quickly break out of that mental cycle of whatever was going on for you, okay? I don't see you like struggling with it for too long, Scorpio. You have the Eight of Cups, so um, following your heart, leaving something behind, you know, this is usually um, you being in a situation and you figuring out and finding out like this is not working, so... It's time to go and move on and like I have to follow my heart like my heart is telling me that this situation is not working. This situation does not serve me. This situation is not in alignment with me. So it's time to move forward or move on. So whatever was like stressing you out, you broke out of it and you were like, you know what? Like I can't let this take up my mental space, my mental capacity. I just have to move forward and up and out of it okay and so page of cups energy so um that's really good energy it's like emotional uh, an emotional surprise you know sometimes it's like a, a communication text messages emails or just messages that are of good news okay or something that will make you happy maybe you hear from someone that you've been waiting to hear from and you know they're letting you they're just communicating with you um for some of you this is you finding out about a situation that's going to help you out of whatever situation you were stressing about whatever you are stressing about as soon as you decide that i'm gonna let this go and i'm gonna move forward then immediately right after that you receive something you receive something that is like showing you like, oh, I am really being supported by the universe because I didn't even have to do too much work. I just had to release what was no longer serving me. And then as soon as I did, obviously I freed up space for something new to come in. And so that's exactly what happens for you, Scorpio, in the month of November. 
Okay, we have the moon card. I'm going to get some clarifiers on this too. Um, for some of you, this is some information that, that was hidden from you. Okay, so this is some information that you've been wanting to know about or a situation, you know, some sort of deception, some sort of shadowy type, shicey like information like you wanted to know. So there's something that comes in and it gives you, I don't know if it's clarity on the situation, but it's information, okay? I'm not sure if like it's clarity, But by that point, Scorpio, you've already let go of the situation. So it's like when this information does come in, it doesn't necessarily affect you. It's not like a hard blow like it would have been if you were like harping on it. Like if you were still harping on it like you were before, then when this inf if this information would have came in, it would have been like a direct blow to you. But because you already let it go, then by the time this comes in, you've already detached from it. You already just detached from it, so it's not affecting you, you know, all that much. It's just like, oh, okay, well, now I know that. Okay. Everyone's getting the Empress card, so I don't know if just a lot of people are, like, bumping and grinding or what. This is the Empress card, Beyonce, Okay. So she doesn't only represent pregnancy. She represents the matriarch, the mother, the grandmother, the aunt, the, you know, she also represents fertility, okay? So being very fertile, okay? Abundance, blessings, prosperity. So she also represents those things. So let's go ahead and clarify these things. Can we have a clarifier for the empress? Because for some of you, this very well could mean like a hidden pregnancy. A pregnancy that you weren't expecting, especially with the Page of Cups card, because sometimes this card represents pregnancy. You see the little fish in the bowl? It's like, surprise, you're pregnant or whatever. So those three cards in a row, some people, look, I didn't look at my belly. <laughs> some people might be finding out that they are pregnant pregnant okay but let's get a clarifier for the empress card the eight of swords okay blocking your blessings okay let me get a clarifier for the moon card change so whatever information so whatever information comes in it creates a change to where before you were feeling restricted, right? And so now you're not feeling restricted, you're feeling abundant. So whatever it is that you find out, you, whatever it is that you release yourself from, you automatically create a situation where abundance starts to come in, just like things that you wouldn't even expect start to come in for you clarifier for the page of cups can i have a clarifier for the page of cups my phone is acting funny y'all so eight of wands so progress forward movement messages news coming in so you're definitely getting some new information this month things start to move forward a little bit right after you release whatever this is clarifier for the eight of cups Okay, we have 10 of swords. Yeah, the ending, put a fork in it. I always say that for the 10 of swords. It's like, put a fork in it, it's done, it's over, leave it alone. It's betrayal, but it's some situation coming to an end. Like, it's done, like, I'm over it. Like, I'm not gonna keep picking at it. I'm just gonna leave it be because it's already, you know, let lion dogs sleep. Okay, clarifier for the strength card. Yep. Mental victory, uh, progress. This is just a victory overall. So like I said, um, whatever is mentally disturbing you, you're going to quickly get over it. You're going to break through it and be like, 
I'm not gonna allow this to hold me back or hold me down. Like it's, it's really not something that I'm gonna allow hold, to hold me back, okay? And then, so this is conflict or this is competition. So you can't stop thinking about some sort of competition, whether this be competition at work, competition in a relationship, you know, maybe you were dealing with somebody who was dealing with other people. Maybe at work, there are people who are trying to battle for your position or they're trying to get more recognition than you at work. Okay. And maybe, you know, you were just a little bit distressed about it and that's okay. But you quickly break out of it and you detach from it. You're like, whatever, I don't care. And then as soon as you get into that mode, then all this different stuff starts coming in for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the advice for Scorpios in the month of November. Okay. Ooh. Okay, what is the advice for Scorpios? Advice for Scorpios. Too many cards, sorry. Advice for Scorpios in the month of November. What is the advice for Scorpios in the month of November? Two of Wands. Make a decision, Scorpio. Please choose a path. Please choose a path. Like, just get it over with. Choose a path. Choose a wand. Okay, it's like... You want to make a decision, you want to make a plan, you want to get organized, you want to expand, but you can't do that until you make a clear-cut decision about what it is that you're going to do. What are you about to do? Like, how are you going to move forward, Scorpio? Hey, Jesus! Okay, let's do that again. Advice for Scorpio. Okay, so you're thinking about long-term. So it's like make a decision based on long-term success like what will set you up which decision will set you up for success in the long term okay it may be a lot of responsibility make the responsible choice make the responsible decision it may be a lot of work for you to handle a lot of responsibility for you to take over but this is destined for you like make the decision about you know, make the decision based on long-term success. You know, I feel like you're thinking about what's going on right now. I feel like you need to be thinking about what's going to set you up for success in the long term, okay? So let's get your final three messages. What are the final messages for Scorpio? So many cards final messages for scorpio final messages for scorpio for a lot of you i just feel like let go of the past there's like something from the past that you're holding on to and it's like you're letting it like determine your decisions right now which makes no sense at all okay so let go of the past please this card wants to come out organization purpose planning efficiency now come to me so easily okay so this is a time where you need to get organized like i said you want to plan you want to expand but you haven't made a choice yet so it's like you can't even do those things you can't even get organized and get ready for expansion until you make a choice until you choose a path and it's like this this choice is based on the present moment it's not based on the past so that's what you're worrying about. You're worrying about the past. Okay. Fertility. Okay. So this is a, a period that will potentially, potentially set you up for long-term success. This is a very fertile opportunity that could be coming your way this month is just accepting the responsibility are you going to accept the responsibility or not that's your advice for the month is to accept the responsibility okay final message for scorpio okay friendship bring to me friendship true sharing laughter understanding too 
So there's somebody or there's people around you who, you know, want to support you through this long-term success, through this endeavor, you know, that they're going to be there for you. They're going to be a valuable support system. They're going to actually really nurture and care for you and, you know, just be able to receive that. That's what I want to say. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, drop a comment below. Personal booking information in the description box. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys next month.